So here's the new remanufactured injectors from Ford. We put a new oil pressure switch, or switch in with it also. Um, the other one's leaking. So here's Vinny's tools. That he's gonna use his primary for getting down in there. Um, he'll be he'll be using just this is all he's gonna use. This is the Milwaukee quarter, Milwaukee three eighths, little gear wrench, little side wrench, uh, his tens, his eights, his twelves, his thirteens, his torques, and the extensions he needs. Uh, I don't see the eight in here. He must have it in his hand. So, so here's my eight and tens. I have my wobblies if needed. My torques for the injector log and injectors. You gonna start with the easy side? Starting with the easy side, because the, the hard side has a missing broken bolt in the valve cover. So I had to silicone it with our extreme, which is not a very good thing to do, but we had to. The only way to fix it correctly is to pull the heads off. So, we decided not to do that. No pressure. I like how Ford gives you these uh, little built-in holders temporarily. You see so many people tearing apart these air boxes right here to get get the air box out. You don't really need to. It'll come out as one solid piece. After you get the uh, air flow sensor off. And your air filter sensor. And out she comes. Now this truck's been converted over to, well not really converted, but just changed out. Got rid of the the Ford orange and the Ford yellow that like to break down in the, uh, the oil cooler and turn into like a sludge and eventually the oil cooler fails. So you don't even need to take the Degas bottle all the way off and just pull it up over here and strap it off. Call it out of your way. Pop off the rebreather. Diesel thing out there. Now, let me see that for a second. So, most common on these is right here heavy handed mechanics breaking those. This one doesn't even have the bracket, so somebody, if you look at it, on the bracket right there, somebody decided that they didn't want it, so they just ditched it to make it easier to work on it. Oops. Oh well, to each his own. And we found that this, when we got this truck, that this truck is a lemon rebirth, so they've yeah. had to go and refix things on this truck and we just keep fixing and fixing so we hadn't seen it before I know some other people have so on this truck sorry there is a sticker a sticker on here somewhere. Oh, that's horrible. I don't know where it's at. But there is a buyback sticker on this truck. 
that it was remanufactured per the lemon law in the state of California. So. so right now what he's removing is the thick of the fuel injection control module. Sorry, I don't have one of those little fancy stands holding the uh, phone up. We were going to use a GoPro, but apparently the GoPro is smarter than me. And it's been like about three years since I last used a GoPro on the Rubicon in our Jeep tripping. So we'll just go with what we got here. So one pick them out. And she is March 0104. Now, that being said, we noticed when we took this apart to do the uh, the eight pop, when the customer initially just wanted to get it fired up, it's not. It is a earlier system in here than the actual 04 so it's using the Bosch style pump yeah so it'll have a it'll have that and that style of branch tube and everything in there which are they fail a lot Whereas the updated with the updated SPC setup, SPC being in touch, they don't really have that big an issue. Now, with this, Vinny should have this side off probably in about 20, 20 minutes. He should be down with that uh, valve cover off. So now I just took his stool. A lot of guys use electric tools on here, but sometimes it's better to get that feel when you're taking it off because if you're taking one off with the electric, you can't really feel if you're pulling threads on the valve cover, on the upper valve cover. So he'll break them all loose by hand. And if they're coming out nice and smooth, then you'll go ahead and move on the electrics. That way you, you can sit there and if you got one that's fighting you on the way out when you're pulling it, you'll note that. So you take a real hard look at the... Uh, the threads on that particular bolt. All right, come back a little bit later after he gets the valve cover off. 